525 South 4th Street is Jurgen's Bakery. And it's not only a bakery, it's also a restaurant, wine shop, and bed and breakfast. The owner, who's a German immigrant, is also a third generation baker, and the recipes have been handed down from her grandfather. We are, we are a very traditional German bakery. Our baked goods are still done from Bavarian German recipes. And, um, we have a lot of still German customers, even though they don't live around here, they come from all over the place. And uh, there's not one day where I don't speak German to anybody, you know. So that's why I still have an accent, I suppose. Also, you know, upstairs, I used to live upstairs in that house, it was a big apartment. But then, when the family moved out, I, I rented it as an apartment. And I have sometimes two, sometimes one room for rent for bed and breakfast. We are known for our very crusty breads, uh, no preservatives in there, and a lot of uh, torts and cakes and cookies and lauge, Bavarian lauge pretzel, cheese pretzels, Linzer Schnitten turnovers, black forest torte, cheesecakes, Haselnuss torte, and coffee cakes. And also we have German imports, everything you need for cooking and baking, all the ingredients, all the good mustards, then we keep the small deli with, uh, stocked with um, German lunch meats some cheeses. We have a nice variety of original German beers and wines. Well, I come from an old line of bakers. My grandfather was a baker, my father was a baker, my husband was a baker. All the streets in German village used to be, uh, used, used to be ger had German names, you know. Mm -hmm. This one used to be Mozartstrasse. Then I turn it into four straight after the war. You know, in Germany, you have a very nice tradition. Um, before Christmas for the children, it's the Advent calendar. What it means is from the first day in December until the 24th, that's 24 days, there is a little window in that calendar. You have The kids have to look for it, and behind that window is a little piece of chocolate. Okay. So every morning they're looking for that window and open it and get a piece of chocolate, which is a traditional Sherman cake. It's made with fruits and nuts and almonds and uh, raisins, rum, marzipan. It keeps very well by, you know, for weeks and weeks, for months actually, you know, because it's rich without being gooey. And it's fantastic. Typical Sherman. Then of course you make the Pfeffernüsse, the gingerbreads, the Springelis, the Zimtsterne, and lots, lots more. Take four. Hi. This wood grain cottage was built in 1890 as a commercial outbuilding for a bakery across the alley. It later became a shoe cobbler shop. In 1938 it was extended in the rear and now it serves as a residential home.